Hey guys, in today's video, I want to share how to get iPhone 10 features and gestures on your non iPhone 10 or iPhone 10 S device, right? So I'm talking swiping up to unlock. We even have the gesture bar on the bottom of the screen here. If we swipe up, we can unlock this device. You see that I also have control center up at the top right, just like we do on an iPhone 10 or 10 S. We have all these really cool gestures on new devices that we can get on older devices. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today, including some of the gestures and some of the features from the lock screen here. By the way, this is the brand new iPads wallpaper. So if you want it, the brand new iPads that Apple announced yesterday. So if you want that wallpaper, links will be in the description. We have the flash here on the lock screen. We also have the camera button on the lock screen here. Again, swipe up with the gesture bar, unlock this device. Now, if you see here on this iPhone XS, I can swipe on the bottom here to the left and I can swipe through pages just like that on an iPhone XS. Well, I can do that here on this iPhone 7 Plus as well. I can swipe up from the bottom to bring up the app switcher. I can also take a screenshot with the volume up and power button together, just like you would on an iPhone 10. Tap and hold on the screenshot to share everything just like you would expect from an iPhone 10, all the features, including the control center. Now I love iPhone 10s and 10s face ID device gestures. The only complaint is the control center, but if you want the full experience, uh, that's also included here as well. Of course, you're gonna need to be jailbroken. If you haven't jailbroken your device, links will be in the description down below. The jailbreak tweak that you're going to need is called Home Gestures. And this is the tweak right here. The developers did such a great job. By the way, I'll be linking them in the description down below as well. So if you guys wanna follow them on Twitter, they did such a fantastic job with this tweak. The tweak does have an extension in settings where you can further customize uh, the gestures on your device. Let's go over some of the app switcher settings here. You see that you have your app switcher swipe up to close applications. So of course, they'll be swiping up just to close applications. You have additional settings here with the cards. You can round them up as well. You also have blacklisting certain applications from having these settings actually work inside of those apps. You have the control center settings, which you may want to adjust. By the way, you may want to have the status bar enabled right here because I did not have that enabled and it was crashing my device when bringing control center down. Just a quick tip. Right here, this is to you know sort of spread and separate the tiles and the time from the status bar. So if you want it to look exactly like the iPhone XS and XS Max, that will help you get that and achieve that look. Right here, you also have the same feature for the landscape mode here as well. Let's go over some of the hardware buttons here, options, the original screenshot where you use the home button and power button on older devices, or you can go with the new, press on the volume up as I just showed you, and power button. So you have that option. If you toggle this on, you go back to original. You also have press the side button to invoke Siri, but for whatever reason, that feature isn't working for me. Let me know if it's working for you. You also have the home bar gestures right here. You can also adjust all of these and change the actual color of the bar at the bottom of the screen right here. Just such a great job on this tweak. It's so complete. And you also have lock screen settings here as well, where you can adjust of your device running these cool gestures. So let me know what you think in those comments down below. Do you prefer iPhone 10 gestures? By the way, if you have a bad home button, this is a great alternative to avoid having to use the home button. And that's gonna be home gestures available in Cydia right now. I think it's a really awesome tweak. And coming from an iPhone 10 to an iPhone 7 Plus, which I've been using today, I really needed this tweak because I was all over the place trying to figure out how to use the iPhone with a home button as a daily driver. Because believe it or not, once you get used to the non-home button Face ID devices, coming back really kind of just messes you up. But there you guys have it for those jailbroken devices out there. You can get this right now. Again, links will be in the description for my jailbreak tutorial. Thank you for watching today's video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.